Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to be showing you the easiest and fastest way to remove ball joints from control arms on your vehicle. This will consist of partially drilling out one side of the rivet and hammering it off. Now this will just focus on the ball joint removal. You will still need to look up your vehicle specific control arm removal. So let's go out to the vehicle and get started and showing you how to do it. All right, so now that the control arm is off, we have our three rivets right here. We're going to drill them out. I'm going to start with a small drill bit even though there is a center on it just to guide us as we go down through the rivet and we're going to be using some cutting oil this is found in the plumbing department at home depot in the pipe cutting area so we're just going to pour a little bit on there and start at low speed and get a hole going and we're going to let that cool down and go to the next ones. All right, now we're gonna step this up to a bigger bit here. This one is a 5 8 And we're gonna finish off the rivets the rest of the way. All right, just be careful not to go all the way through. Keep on looking at it. You'll see a ring start to form where the hole is and then stop so you don't drill all the way through. All right, while you're drilling, some of the rivets might just spin right off. However, some just have a little bit of a ring left. If that's the case, just grab a hammer and chisel, and we're just gonna knock it off. All right, so once you have all the rivets popped up on the other side, just gonna set it upside down, just put the ball joint on your curb, and just give it a good whack. And just like that, ball joints off.